Hello, this is Reza Rat from Radicad, and I'm going to show you today in this video how to do a comparison of this year value versus last year value in Power BI with DAX. Let's check it out. As you can see here, I have a data model, which you can download it if you like from the link to my blog articles down in the description below. Uh, AdventureWorks dataset, this has a sales table and a date table. So what I'm going to do is to calculate uh, the this year sales, there's a sales uh, value in this table uh, versus the last year sales. So for this year sales, that's usually easy. I go and create a new table. Usually it's always easy to do calculations when you start with a table because you can see the values in details. Um, and let's say from the date table, I bring full date alternate key, which is the date field. Um, and for this example, I'm using the built-in date table of Power BI. You can create your own date table or you can use built-in. So here, although I have my date table, but I'm using the built-in date hierarchy, which means I'm using the built-in date table. Um, so this is list of my dates and from the fact internet sales table, I'll bring sales amount here. I just make this slightly bigger in the grid. You can make text size bigger, that bigger that would make the entire text of the grid bigger. So here I have the sales amount of every, uh, every single day. And now what I want to do is to compare it with the last year. Now on a day level, probably that would be a little bit hard to compare. So I'll do remove the day. I mean, hard to compare in terms of seeing it in visualization, not in terms of writing the calculation, because that's always the same. So here is the sales of every month. Now I'm going to write a calculation and uh, you can uh, easily create a new measure for that. So I'm going to write a measure, which gives me the sales of uh, last year. Now, uh, let's call this one sales last year. Uh, there is actually a function uh, called same period last year, very useful function, very simple to use this function. All you need to provide is the date field, like many other time intelligence functions, functions that works with date and time, they need a date field. When you see date with an S at the end, that means it's looking for a field, not one single value. And my field for date here is full date alternate key. It should be a full date field. Uh, and because I'm using the um, built in date table of Power BI, so I'm using this dot date at the end. If you are using your own date table and if you marked it as a date table, then you don't need this dot date at the end. This is only needed if you are using the built in Power BI date table. Okay, so same period last year is uh, giving me. Uh, the same period last year, but it doesn't give me the sales of that period. And this output is always a table. Like for example, if I'm in month August 2017, this would be August 2016, all dates for August 2016. So it would be a table uh, with all dates in it, right? What you need to do is to get the sales amount or whatever uh, value you are looking for uh, from uh, for that period let's say in my case, I want the sales amount for this period. And there's a useful function for doing that called calculate. Uh, there are other functions that you can use for this, but calculate is one of them. Uh, so in calculate, you can specify what is the expression. So I can say I want sum of the sales amount. So sum of the sales. And what is the filter? The filter is this part itself. Same period last year is actually my filter. I can press tab to move it a little bit further in the right. So I'm saying that calculate sum of sales amount for the same period last year, right? Close bracket and press enter. So this calculation, now when I go and bring it into my visual, you can see that it shows me sales of the last year for some of these year uh, months, uh, like up to uh, the first 11 months, there is no same period last year sales because for example, June 2006, there was no June 2005 sales in this data set. The sales started, started at July 2005. So that's why these are blank. And then the, for example, for August 2006, you see that this value, which is 
506,191.69 is coming exactly from August 2005. So uh, this is the sales this year uh, or this period. This is the sales last period. Um, let's say same period last year. So this year, same period last year. Now what you need to do is just this divided by that to give you this year versus last year. Um, which you can do that as another measure as well. So I'm going to create this as a new measure. You can do all of these as one measure as well. If you are just looking for the percentage, you can do that all in one measure. So I can call this one, let's say, uh, sales um, or yeah, sales year over year percentage. Um, or you can have even multiple calculations. So say years over year, let's say this is the dollar value. The dollar value would be whatever this year's sales is minus last year's sales. So this year's sales, um, it's just sum of the sales amount because that's what this calculation is. So I would say sum of the sales amount. So that's this year's sales minus same period last year sales, which I called it sales last year. Now, when you type uh, measure names, I just press a shift enter to put this in a second line to make it easier to read. When you put the measure name, usually table names comes before measure name. It's not a good practice. Try to always remove it. Um, it's even much more meaningful this way. Uh, so table name before column names is good. Table name before measure name, probably not. So this is um, the sales of this year. Uh, or let's say this period minus the sales of uh, same period but last year and I can bring it over here so you can see the difference right so for those that there was actually no sales last year so this is uh, the difference and for those that there is sales last year there's a difference and you can see sometimes it's increase like this row sometimes it's decrease like this one now all you need to do to calculate the divide again that can be all in one measure but i can do that as one another measure so let's say this one i call it sales year over year percentage let's say the previous one was the value dollar value this is percentage so the percentage would be sales year over year actually and again we have to remove this that's not needed divided by uh, sales last year right so something like that uh, but if you use divide uh, when the when you are dividing it by zero you get uh, something like this as an output you see that for these areas that it is dividing that by blank I get infinity which is probably not, not what I want so instead of using divide this way what I will use is the divide function and in the divide function, I can just use it like this. Divide function will take care of divide by zero itself. So it divides one value by another value. If it is zero, the default output is blank. Otherwise, it would just return a value. And if I want, instead of blank, to have something else, let's say, I don't know, if I want to have zero, I put zero. Uh, if I want to have, let's say, not applicable, I can do that. It's the last parameter, which is alternate result. And you see it's inside... Uh, square bracket that means optional so I can just use it this way and don't use it at all that means if it is divided by zero it would be blank so here it is now I have this blank for those that divide by zero and this is the value uh, all I can do is uh, let's say as a last step I just set the formatting of this as a percentage and this shows me the year over year comparison very simply so all you need to do is first calculate sales of last year with same period last year inside the calculate. Then you can divide this year and you can actually subtract this year sales minus last year and then uh, divide that value by the sales of last year that will give you this year uh, versus last year. There are other ways of calculating this as well using date add function, using parallel period function. I'll talk about those in another example. This was using the same sales, uh, sorry, same period last year. If you liked this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have Power BI and AI uh, weekly videos. Thank you.